In 1948, at the close of the hostilities associated with World War II, James Gould Cousins published a book called Guard of Honor. It was the culmination in his novelist's uh, imagination of what was involved in the dedication and perseverance of the servicemen and women who were called on December 7, 1941 to service. I have a unexpected uh, and unique fate in speaking to you today uh, because I am able to represent here today the Armed Services Committee of the United States Congress as well as the Resources Committee which has jurisdiction over the Department of the Interior having spent almost 20 years on both committees and find myself inaugurated as governor yesterday. And so I come before you with a great sense of purpose. I thought to myself as I reflected on Guard of Honor that the dedication was particularly appropriate. And I wish to read it today, not just for those who were the survivors here at Pearl Harbor and elsewhere, as just noted, on the island of Oahu, but for all those who served in World War II and since. The Cousins chose a passage from The Tempest of William Shakespeare, and I read it now. I and my fellows are ministers of fate, the elements of whom your swords are tempered, may as well wound the loud winds, or with bemocked stabs kill the still closing waters, as diminish one dowel that's in my plume. My fellow ministers are like invulnerable. I consider this rare occasion of both commemoration and dedication, one in which we can indeed express the idea that the memory of what took place here on December 7, 1941 is indeed invulnerable. We are all too familiar with our failings and shortcomings as human beings, but there are occasions when we are called upon to exercise perhaps more than we know of ourselves on behalf of our fellow human beings. What happened here on December 7, 1941, commemorated in this 69th anniversary observation and dedicated in the visitor center that the National Park Service now takes sovereignty over, what took place was indeed an expression of reaching past that which we thought we might be capable of. What is invulnerable is our dedication to democracy and to each other as free men and women. And so today we are engaged in this ritual observation. It is perhaps unique, yes, in both being a commemoration and a dedication, but it is ritual nonetheless. And some might observe, what is the sense, what is the use, what is the utility of ritual, of meeting together like this? It is because as human beings we value the conservation of those things which have meaning for us. Ritual is the conserver of values. This ritual is a dedication and a commemoration and a conservation of those values represented by the survivors that are with us here today, represented in their perseverance and dedication 
their desire to stand for those who fell on December 7th, 1941, but whose spirits rise with us today and whose spirits will be preserved in this unique memorial, in this unique visitor center. So no matter what happens in the 70th and 71st and all of the commemorations to take place in the future, we have dedicated today a monument not just for remembrance, but something to satisfy the hungry for memory that we have as human beings. The, hungry for, the hunger for memory that separates us from the other species, where we recognize in each other a common brotherhood and sisterhood. And in that ritual of observation and in this center of memory, we will renew our pledge to one another as free men and women in this democracy, in this United States of America, our home. Aloha.